Hello, I'm fiction author Scott Sigler, and welcome to Monstrosity, the place to be for news and updates in the worlds of horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. As reported at ScreenRant.com, the Pacific Rim trailer is out. This giant robots versus Cthulhu Godzilla movie is directed by Guillermo del Toro. His first directorial effort in five years, and his first since Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. Scheduled for a July 11th release, this movie looks awesome. And if the concept of huge robots versus huger monsters isn't enough, it's got del Toro favorite Ron Perlman from Hellboy and Sons of Anarchy. We'll have the full trailer at the end of this episode, but for now, here's five seconds of a giant ass monster eating a bridge. No word on if these giant robots will also sport racist accents like the crazy jive talk and skids and mud flap from Transformers 2. I screwed that up. I'm okay. I'm alright. This is combat, man. Oh, brain freeze, man. What's wrong with you? But we can always help. On January 8th, New York Times bestselling author James Rollins dives into the world of horror with his take on vampires. The author of the popular Sigma Force series is collaborating with novelist Rebecca Cantrell to offer Blood Gospel, the first novel of a new series. Rollins is a masterful creature feature author, and his work combines big guns, genetic creations, flying bullets, and over-the-top endings. Blood Gospel, an earthquake in Israel, reveals a tomb buried in the heart of a mountain. A trio of investigators, Sergeant Jordan Stone, a military forensic expert, Father Rune Corza, a Vatican priest, and Dr. Aaron Granger, a brilliant but disillusioned archaeologist, are sent to explore the macabre discovery, and they wind up on the trail of a book rumored to be written in Christ's own hand. The enemy who hounds them is like no other, a force of ancient evil directed by a leader of impossible ambitions and incalculable cunning. Knowing Rollins, his vampires might sparkle, but only if that's because they're being burned to a crisp by a white phosphorus grenade. Finally, as reported at GameSpot.com, the third edition of the hit franchise Dead Space rips off your face on February 5th, 2013. This classic sci-fi horror first-person shooter is known for blood splatters and for creative dismemberments. The third edition is sure to make you pee yourself, but only a little bit, and it's a grown-up pee. Visceral Games brings back franchise character Isaac Clark to lead humanity's battle against the nasty necromorphs. This time, Isaac is out to stop the source of all necromorphs once and for all, until Dead Space 4 comes out, of course. I thought I stopped them here, but they keep coming back. That's it for this episode of Monstrosity. Got the inside scoop on an upcoming movie, game, book, play, or graphic novel in the genre world? Email scott at scottsigler.net, and I'll make up things about it and pretend I know what I'm talking about. Until next time, I'm Scott Sigler, and buy my books or I'll have Jane Fonda reprise her role as Barbarella. 80 year old in a leather bikini, anyone? Yeah. Here's that trailer for Pacific Rim, and don't you go change it. Go fishing. Two pilots engaged in neural bridge. Ready to activate the Jaeger in three, two, one. of our hope, at the end of our time, we have chosen to believe in each other. Today we face the monsters that are at our door. Today we are canceling the apocalypse.